guys it's Kendra so welcome back to another vlog and Kelsey and I got back from Paris almost a week ago it hasn't even been a full week since we've been back home and uh yeah today we decided to go ahead and put up our Christmas decorations it's a little bit earlier than we normally do it but we decided why not what's two weeks earlier gonna hurt nothing so we're gonna do that today we already took down all the fall decor so we're just gonna just get straight into decorating for christmas so the fall decor is gone it was a little sad taking it down because bittersweet because i love like the fall atmosphere in our house like with all the warm tones but i'm also excited to see like all like the pretty cool tones for like the christmas vibes that we're doing and it's gonna be the same theme as last year because ain't nobody got time to be changing up their theme every year and we love the theme from last year with like the greenery and our flock tree that we've had for like two years now that's in the living room. We're probably going to keep like the same thing theme that we always do in the office, which is like all white and gold. But in here, it's going to be like some greenery and pine cones like we did last year. So I am a little hungry right now, so I am going to make some lunch. Today's video is sponsored by Factor, so thanks so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Too busy this fall to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store, the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Also, you can relish the best of autumn with fall flavors, Factor's limited time only hearty comforting meals featuring seasonal veggies like cranberry pecan chicken and apple Dijon pork chops, ready in just minutes, They'll satisfy all your fall cravings during the busy season without the hassle. With Factor, you can adjust your stride this season without missing a step. Choose from 35 plus weekly flavored packed fresh never frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences already in just minutes. Okay guys, so the one that I'm having is the sun-dried tomato chicken with zucchini noodles. And I mentioned this before, but all the chicken ones are always really, really good. I highly recommend them. I really want to try more of the seafood ones though because the one time I had the salmon, I was very impressed. So I really want to try more seafood ones. Um, so I do recommend more seafood ones too. But the chicken options are always really, really great. Kelsey had like a pork chop one last month that she really liked. So yeah, they have a lot of great options at Factor. I'm also super glad we have this Factor box because since we got back, I don't want to cook every meal throughout the day. So lunch already being prepared and pre-made for us is such a lifesaver because y'all know when you come back from traveling, you're exhausted. You're doing so many things like unpacking and trying to catch up with like sleep, which is what we've been doing. And we're, we're still a little jet lagged because we're not completely adjusted back to the time here. So, and it's so weird because it took us days to get adjusted to the time in Paris and now we're doing the opposite here. But it's all good. So if you guys are interested in some quick, convenient meals that you don't have to make yourself, especially during the holidays, because who feels like cooking every day? No one does. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, don't forget to head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So we're about to start decorating. We like to wait for the sun to get ready to go down so we can go ahead and plug everything in once we're done. So yeah, we waited purposely a couple of hours. So it's so empty in here. It looks like we just moved in or we about to move out. So naked. We took the covers off of these pillows for our green covers and then we need to take these black ones off because these are the ones that we usually have on the couch. We're gonna take those coffee table books off because we're not gonna be using these for the decor. Here are our bins. So these are the bands for the tree in here. Yes, let's get started.
my gosh, so it's the next day. We were finally done decorating. The only thing we did do is the outside. We didn't switch out like our pumpkins and like our fall wreaths for um, like our outside decorations, but we'll do that like when we come back from Thanksgiving, I think, because we'll get less judgment from our neighbors. I don't know, because I still feel like it's kind of early for Christmas decorations, but I don't know, they just make me happy and we wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way, so. Yeah, that stuff is just in the hallway upstairs and I'll just wait to put that up, so. But I wanted to briefly do a quick little, I guess holiday tour, you would say, um, just to go over some of the stuff um, that we've had for a while, just in case you guys were curious to know where we got some of this stuff. And I think I remember where most of it's from. Hopefully that helps you. And I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how we place ornaments on the tree. Cause it's just not, well, at least I don't decorate my tree like that. I don't just put random ornaments anywhere. Um, so I just start with the tree first and then I'll just show you like where everything else is from. Okay, so here is the front tree in the living room. Um, so we got this flock tree from Hobby Lobby two years ago, I think. Um, we weren't going to get a new tree, but the tree that we used to have in here was a just plain white one. Um, and it was very narrow, just like this one. Um, the reason we wanted a narrow, taller tree for in here is because this is not that much space between the couch and the fireplace so we um like to have a more narrow tree in here because if we have a fatter tree it would like it wouldn't fit so this is like perfect so if you want a tree to fit in a, like a skinny space just look for a narrow tree that's really 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 tall so this one is pretty tall it's like seven feet i think seven and a half feet so as far as ornament placements uh, if you have a lot of holes in your tree holes meaning like um areas where you can see like through it I highly recommend these type of things, like these pretty white flowers that we have here. I think we got these from Michaels a few years ago. Um, so see, they're just perfect to like fill in holes. Um, so these we like to put on first. I like to start with these to fill in any bigger holes. And then I like to go in with these stars. So anything that's big and round, I feel like you should go ahead and put on first to fill in any holes. Um, and then after that, that's when you can go in with your regular ornaments, I feel. And as far as regular ornaments, I highly recommend putting like the smaller ones near the top. It just makes more sense to put like smaller ones near the top. Um, and then like your really fat ones like near the bottom. Even though Kendra put this big one here, I'm sure it was to fill in like a, a hole. Anything that's like heavy and glass like this or like bigger, you want to put near the bottom. Um, because of, you know, gravity. Because if you put something this heavy at the top, it's going to make your tree lean a little more. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then after we do, like, the bigger ones, like these, like I said, after we fill in those spaces, that's when we like to go in with, like, the regular round ornaments. I love these green ones. These are my favorite just because they complement the living room so well. Um, and we got these in a set, like all of these green ones. They all came in one set. They're so pretty. Um, and Kendra got these from Amazon, I think the year before last. So these green ones are so pretty. Um, and then the rest of them we've had for years, like these big ones. And then these I think are from Home Goods. Home Goods has really pretty glass ornaments. So if you check your local Home Goods, I'm pretty sure you'll find some pretty nice glass ornaments that'll last you for years. Um, and then of course our little Eiffel Towers that we've had for a very long time. We got those from Pottery Barn a few years ago. Pottery Barn always has like really cute ornaments. They are, are a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but if you can't find anything anywhere else, they're usually like a really good last resort. Um, and then these pretty glass ones, we've got these for a while. I think these are from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then these came in a little set that I think are also from Home Goods. And then these pine cones um we started adding pine cones to the decor in this living room like two years ago because kendra came up with like the new theme um the pine cones are from michael's so you can find pine cones at probably hobby lobby or michael's but we got ours from michael's these stars by the way that i was talking about filling in holes i told y'all these white ones are from michael's but i really don't remember where these pretty stars are from we've had them for so long but if I'm not mistaken, I think they're from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of the two. Oh, and these pretty glass reindeer. We only have three of them. They came in a set of three. We found these at Home Goods a few years ago, so I love these. I think this star's from Hobby Lobby. We had it on our old tree. 
um, that was in here. And I'm pretty sure it's some Hobby Lobby. Gray, dark gray ones. They're like a gunmetal color. I think these gunmetal ones are from Target, if I'm not mistaken. Like this gunmetal color is from uh, Target. So those are the tones on this tree. I'm still obsessed with the cool tones on this tree of green, white, gunmetal, and silver. So yeah. And then our tree skirt is from Home Goods. We always find pretty tree skirts at Home Goods. So if you're looking for a pretty soft tree skirt, I highly recommend Home Goods. Okay, now for our pillow covers. I think both of these are from Amazon. Um, this one is like more of a muted olive green, and this one is more crushed velvet, pickly olive um, green. So this is like classic olive, and this is like pickle olive. Um, I'm obsessed with this one. This is like my favorite color, though. You can't really see the color as well that way. I'll come this way. Yes, so you can see the difference in color here. So this one is my favorite color. I'm obsessed with this. Like, if I could have a whole couch in this color, I probably will. Like, whenever I get another house, I'm probably going to get this entire couch reupholstered to this color and this fabric. I want, like, a crushed velvet, pretty, like, olive green. It's so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed. So... And then this dark, dark green, hunter green, or a blanket. You guys sell this is green. You can kind of tell. Yeah, this is like a hunter green. This pretty throw blanket is from Pottery Barn. It's coming off black on camera, but I promise you it's like really dark hunter green. Cabiny, earthy tones in here. So if I'm going to pick a color for Christmas, I like tones that are more earthy because they go better with your decor. I'm not into like bright red um decorating for christmas is just it's something that i'll get over too fast like i like something that like blends in nicely with my decor because i would leave these pillows here for like regular decor and like i said the color of this pillow is stunning and then this throw blanket on this side is also from pottery barn it's so freaking soft we just wanted like cozy ca cabin vibes um so yeah that's from pottery barn and then on this coffee table um, we have less books than we did last year because I looked at a picture because taking pictures of your decor is very helpful if you want to like reference what you did the year before. We had so many books on here like for Christmas because I like the four coffee table books that we usually have here like year round. But it was a little too much for Christmas decorations in my opinion. Um, so this is perfect how Kendra set this up. So we kept our Gucci book because this is the only like... <laughs> you know, pop of red that we have in here and it's red and green. So it's like a perfect Christmas coffee table book. It's really cute. So this coffee table book, I'm pretty sure is from Pottery Barn or Home Goods. I think it's from Pottery Barn though. It's from Pottery Barn. This candle is from Home Goods. This is Home Goods. This tray, this like wooden tray. But yeah, this is from Crate and Barrel. It's like a really nice wooden tray that we have these pine cones on that are from michael's again you can find like bags and bags of pine cones at michael's they're really inexpensive um be careful though because most pine cones are kind of they have slow sharp pricks on them um so be careful when you're decorating with them okay this that one is throwing me off let me move her back here it to look better to me and of course we got just a bath and body work candle Kendra took the stickers off i think this is which one is this Vanilla Balsam, one of our favorite Christmas scents. That's Vanilla Balsam. Then we have our same vase that we always have here. Usually during the spring and summer, we have actual real flowers in there. Um, but we just put some of this like fake piece of plastic tree. I have no idea where that's from. <laughs> and then um, our candelabras. These are so pretty. So we usually have gold candelabras here. Well, brass. And these are from Home Goods as well. And then the actual candles are also from Home Goods. So these just blend so nicely with the tree. Um, because if we would have kept the gold ones, they wouldn't have went because we have cool tones in here right now. So they go nicely with the tree. And then over here, we just use hurricanes that we have year round that sometimes we put on the bookshelves. This, this one, like the little pedestal one. Yeah, this one is from Crate and Barrel, and then this one, like the Flat Hurricane, is from Pottery Barn. And then we just have two Bath and Body Works candles in those. And then here we just have this, like, fake plastic tree with, like, blueberries on them. Um, this is from Crate and Barrel. So we just put these 
in our vase on the kitchen table. We had those pretty autumn leaves in here from Kirkland's. Yes, I think that's where those were from. So we just switched those out for this. Go with our earthy tones. And then in this corner, we just basically, we have those charcoal gray fluted hurricanes right here for October and Halloween. So we took those off and just put our regular wine corked hurricanes over here. So we usually have these over here year round, but I feel like they go with like the cavity theme. I mean, we just have a flicker light over here that is from, where is this from? Pottery Barn. Over here we have three flicker lights from Pottery Barn as well as the Hurricanes. So all three of these are from Pottery Barn. I think last year I also put some like um, sparkly lights in these, but I didn't do that this year. But that is also a really good idea to do with these. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, put these here. Over here I just have my cute little houses from Home Goods. I forgot that they had lights in them and I turned them on last night. They look so cute. This one don't have no light in it though, and it looked like they forgot to pay a light bill. These look real cute at nighttime lit. I showed you that last night. We've had this snow globe for years. It's from Home Goods as well. And then this little fake garland thing here is from Crate and Barrel. We got it last year, and Kendra just um, left out some pine cones, so I just added those in here too. And I think this fake eucalyptus is from Crate and Barrel as well. This candle is from Home Goods, and then this is also from Home Goods. And then this wreath on the door, I think it's from Amazon or Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure it's from Hobby Lobby. And then that cute little wreath hook is from Target. I got them in like a pack of like four, so that's from Target. I'm just gonna come to this tree really quickly in the office, because I want to tell you guys another tip to like cover big holes again with these big fat ornaments. These are from TJ Maxx and then ribbon is also a good way to cover holes. So I use this gold ribbon to like cover you know, some holes. So that's also a good tip. So yeah, these ornaments are so old. I, they're older than the ones in there. So I can't really remember what most of these are, but most of these like chocolate brown ones are from Target. So they're mostly from Target. And then these little pretty things are from Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but I'm pretty sure these are from Michaels. Yeah, these are from Michaels. These are also good to cover big holes. And our little nativity set is from Home Goods. And our little house, we've had this for so long. This is from Home Goods as well. It's so cute. So yeah, so hopefully these tips help you guys decorate your Christmas trees. Let me know if you guys have already decorated for Christmas. We just wanted to go ahead and do it early this year to get it out of the way. And plus, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. It just makes me feel so happy and warm inside. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.